But, but all is not lost. I think uh, if you can look at what New York City has done, starting under Bloomberg, for example, and continuing under de Blasio, uh, in which New York City has come up with a sustainability plan. If we can get action at the city level, at the state level, again, look what's happening in California in many ways, many dimensions, uh, we may actually see enough experimentation going on so that the political process will follow the public acceptance of that experimentation. Mm -hmm. So um, if we give our support to the progressive mayors and the progressive governors, uh, regardless of party, I think we may see some action there. And the same holds true for the international agreements. The most important thing is perhaps for the US, China, and India to get their acts together rather than try to have a, a big UN scale sort of agreement. But that's a whole other discussion. To add uh, a last comment to this, I completely agree with Art that sort of grassroots action from the bottom up at, at, at low, lower levels, you know, even sort of city levels and, and, and planning board levels sort of will make a difference. But sometimes also there's uh, a power in a word. And so a number of years ago, I was sort of intrigued by the fact that Americans hate carbon taxes and yet the uptake of these carbon fees in the form of offsets uh, actually has been doubling you know, since they've been in, in, in invented a few years ago. And so we did a very simple experiment where we explained a carbon fee in, 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 in a you know, multi-page way in a web-based study uh, and uh, asked people sort of then sort of if they're willing to incur this fee and called it either a carbon tax or a carbon offset. Uh, we call it a, sing a dirty word or a dirty world. Uh, turns out if, if it's called a carbon offset, you cannot tell sort of the people's differences in terms of uptake, whether Republican or Democratic, you know, self-identified after the fact. But when it's a carbon tax, you know, sort of there's, there's a huge gap. Uh, and so I think it's a question of how we frame a certain issue. And if it has become politicized in a certain way, there might be ways of turning it into a slightly different way of presenting it that's not yet politicized. But it is an arms race, yeah? and it, in, ultimately it's a losing battle, but we, we can stay one step ahead of it. 